of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs. And this is Solomon talking. And Solomon, he is talking to uh, the parents, to the elders. And he gives them a warning. Now my lesson, the context of this lesson, of my talk, would be found in Proverbs chapter 30, verses 9 through uh, 17. And uh, I want to build my introduction by something that is current that we're going to be observing this coming Saturday. This coming Saturday is June the 19th. And a few weeks ago, Congress, the Senators, President uh, Bynum and Vice President Harris, they signed a decree, a declaration, making it now a federal, a federal holiday. All right. All right. Let me give you a little history about Juneteenth. The uh, South went to war against the North right, right. because the South did not want to release or free their slaves. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation January the 1st hmm. in 1863. But the South rebelled, mm. right. and they became known as the Confederates. Right, mm. right. The North Army was called the Union, mm. and it was led by Ulysses S. Grant. Mm -hmm. okay. right. uh, he was the general, and uh, his co-laborers or colleagues were William Sherman, and George McClendon. Whereas the South Army, the Southern Army, the Confederates, they were led by Robert E. Lee. And his uh, colleagues were T.J. Stonewall Jackson and Nathan B. Forrest. These were uh, the generals that led with him. Yes. Now, this fight put brother against brother. Yes. The brothers of the North fought against the brothers of the South. It went on for a little bit more than four years. Mm. But in 1863, uh, January 1st, when Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, the word got out that they had freed the slaves, but yet there were some who did not want the news to get into the Deep South. Mm -hmm. And when they heard that the Northern Army was uh, defeating those who rebelled against them, a lot of the slave owners in Mississippi Louisiana started moving their slaves to Texas. Mm -hmm. And the whole up place where the majority of them were held up were in Galveston Bay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, because of the pressure put against Robert E. Lee, Robert E. Lee ended up surrendering. He surrendered April the 9th uh, at Appomattox. Uh, Appomattox was the courthouse where Robert E. Lee surrendered April the 9th in 1865. After he surrendered in 1865, that made it clear for General G. Granger. He had 18 to 2,000 troops that marched on the south and they took over Mississippi, they took over Louisiana, and on June the 19th, 
They made it to Galveston Bay, June the 19th, 1865. And he read from the steps of the courthouse because of an executive order, all slaves are now free. And they are no longer to be called slave and master, but they are to be considered employer and employee. All right. And when the slaves heard this in Galveston, Galveston Bay, Juneteenth, 1865, no doubt they started shouting. Some of them immediately took off running, trying to get to the north, trying to find their family members that had been sold. This is the history of uh, Juneteenth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the sad thing is, for two and a half years, they were freed, 1863. But they didn't get the news until 1865 in June. That's two and a half years. That meant two and a half years, they were treated as slaves, thought as slaves, their master looked upon them as slaves, they thought they were still slaves, not knowing that they were free. Mm -hmm. They still walked around with chain around their necks, on their wrists, and around their ankles, not knowing that two and a half years ago, I was set free. Mm -hmm. Now, when we hear this story, our hearts are sad to know that you would do somebody All like right. that. All right. How sad it was. You mean that you're going to continue to treat them as slaves and they continue to act and function as if they were slaves for two and a half years, not knowing that they were free. Mm. Come on. The sad thing, this is the gut punch. I'm setting you up now. Get ready for what I'm about to say. <laughs> the only thing sadder, Mother, Mother Henderson, than to be a slave and not know you're a slave, knowing, and not know that you're free. The only thing sadder than that is the fact that Christians, believers, followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, who have been born again and baptized, how sad it is some of us, or some of them, or some of you, don't know that when Christ died on the cross, come on, come on, come on, yes. He set you free. Mm -hmm. And yet they are walking around mm -hmm. with chains on. Them. All right. They are walking around in bondage. Yes. They are walking around with the mentality of a slave. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that over 2,000 years ago, right. it was not Ulysses S. Grant, mm -hmm. nor was it Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Nor was it Lyndon Bain Johnson with the Civil Rights Bill or Martin Luther King. None of them. But Jesus died on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all with me now? More than 2,000 years ago so that we would be free. And the sad thing is we got young men and young women and middle-aged people that's free and they don't know it because they still have a slave mentality. Yes, sir. You with me now? Yes, sir. Now, how do you know we're free, preacher? The Bible says, he that the son set free. Come on, man. You're in the book. Amen. It's free indeed. Yes, sir. And, 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 and did not he say, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes, sir. Did not he say, Mother Gardner, ye shall know the truth. Yes. And the truth shall make you free, yes, sir. Yes. not set you yes, free. Anytime you set some free, you can recapture it. Oh, yeah. The word yeah. said, make, mm -hmm. make you free. Okay. And the Bible says where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. Yeah. Right. Liberty means freedom. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me now? Yes, and so what I want to talk about today, my little presentation being we got uh, Juneteenth coming up this coming Saturday. Hmm. 
And I want you all to hear this, and I want everybody who watching that watching this on the internet. What I want to talk about today is slaves with invisible chains. All right, all right. Slaves with invisible chains. All right, all right. I was looking for some handcuffs. I was gonna bring my handcuffs. You know what the policeman put on you. But the chain that I'm talking about is more powerful right. oh, man. Than, the, than the handcuffs. Come on, come on. And then uh, I was trying to find me some shackles. Because those of you who know me, if I've been around me, you know I like to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, and, and by the time I preach this, y'all getting a preview of the coming attraction. By the time I preach it, Deacon Sweezer, I'm going to have me some shackles. But the chain I'm talking about, Deacon Sweezer, is more powerful and more thicker all right, all right. than the shackles that they put on your feet. All right. I was able to find these. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 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 I, I was able to find these. All right. This is a replica of the chains they used to put on our ancestors yeah. mm -hmm. when they led them into slavery. Mm -hmm. You know your wrist go through. You know, I understand. Mm -hmm. don't you? Mm -hmm. But 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 the chain I'm talking about, okay. good God from Zion, yes. is more powerful than what they put on their Amen. ankles. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. The chain that I'm talking about mm -hmm. is more thicker, Russell, mm -hmm. than what you put on your wrist. Mm -hmm. The chain I'm talking about is more powerful than what they would put around their necks. Mm -hmm. When they locked them in stocks and put them in the bottom of the ships. Yeah. When they yeah. brought them over here from Africa. But the chain I'm talking about is the chain that's on your mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can see the chain, Pastor, on their ankle. Uh huh. You can see the chain that's on their wrist. You can see the chain that's around their neck. Uh huh. But Mother Gardner, Mother Wade, oh, the chain that's on their mind hmm. All right. is invisible. Yes, yeah, They have a gold chain around their neck. Yeah, yeah. That's all you see: gold chains, yeah. fake gold chains around their necks. But the sad thing is, what about that chain? Around the head. All right. All right. Around your mind. All right. And when I see all of this killing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all of this violence, it's evidence mm -hmm. that somebody got a chain. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Boy. Are y'all with me? Come on, come on, man. It's invisible. You can't see it. No, yeah. No, no, no. Invisible chain mm. on their mind. You say, well, Rick and Moe, you making it up? Well, let's see what the Bible says. As a man think it, so is he. Is he. Yeah. <laughs> if you think about murder, you think about killing, you think about retaliation, you think about drive-by shootings, mm -hmm. you think about shooting up your neighborhood, as a man think it, so is he. he that live it by the sword shall... Yeah. Come on, man. Come yes. on. An invisible chain. That's on their mind. Last night shooting, a lady was shot in the head. Yesterday evening shooting, two young men were shot. Yesterday morning, a shooting, young man was shot. This past Sunday at the trail ride, had a big shooting up down there. Uh, Saturday, they had a uh, Sunday evening, they had a, a big shootout. More than 50 shots shot up in a neighborhood. We used to hear about shooting once a month or once every other week. Yeah. Now it's every day. It's on the news that this weekend, they said more than 350 people were shot this past weekend. Yeah. They're talking about from Savannah, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, Chicago, Illinois, New York. Folks fighting each other on the airplanes. Mm -hmm. yeah. About masks. About masks. They're fighting each other uh, 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 at events. Yeah. They go they go watch folk play baseball mm. and they fighting in the stadium. Mm. They go watch folk play basketball. They fighting in the stadium. Am I telling the truth? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
It's an invisible chain. Amen. Mm. On their mind. And so I want to talk about this here. I never seen this before in the Bible. And, and, and look at what 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 Solomon, the wisest man in the world, Solomon says there will come a time. Look at uh Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 12. It says there will be a generation mm -hmm. that will be pure. In their own eyes. In other words, it doesn't matter about right or wrong or wrong or right. It's what we think is right. And what we say is right. But the law, I don't care what the law says, it's what I say. In your own eyes. But the Bible, I don't care what the Bible says, it's what I say. In your own, in your own eyes. But the book said, man, I'm supposed to be with man and one one to be with one. I don't care what that say. It's what I say. The book says I should not kill. I don't care what the book says. It's what I say. In their own, in their own eyes. The Bible calls it lawlessness. Mm -hmm. Lawlessness. And there are 12 things I want to show you about the generation that Solomon saw that would come. And I'm calling this generation slaves with invisible chain. Now get your Bible, walk with me. Let's look at verse 9. It says, they will ask the question, who is the Lord? Do y'all see that? Uh -huh. Who is the Lord? You may say, you don't know who the Lord is. Solomon said, the time would come. Mm -hmm. When we grew up, our parents took us to church. Mm -hmm. You had to go to church if you lived at that house. Right. Even if you went out on Saturday night and came in drunk, they'd tell you, that's all right. You need to get your drunk self up because you're going to church on Sunday morning. Right. And, and we were brought up in the church. Yeah. We were brought up to, to, to fear God mm -hmm. and respect the church. We were brought up, when you came in church, you took your hat off. Right. We were brought up to say, yes, ma'am. Amen. And no, sir. We were brought up to respect people. Mm -hmm. we, be we believed in heaven. We believed in hell. Yes. Yes, we, 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 yes, we, we, yes, we feared hell. Yes, sir. Come on, talk to yes, me if you can. Yes, we feared not getting baptized and, and learning about Jesus. Mm -hmm. We went to uh, 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 BTU, BTU and Sunday school. And mission, and, 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 and we had Bible quizzes. We, 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 we feared God. Yes, sir. We knew the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. We knew Bible verses. Mm -hmm. But we have come to a junction now. Mm -hmm. This generation, generation yeah. slaves without chains. Mm -hmm. When you tell them something about God now, the attitude mm -hmm. is read it right there. Who is the Lord? Mm -hmm. Honey, God said, I, Who is God? What, 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 you need to go to church. Why I need to go there? Mm. What I need to go there for? I, I'm smart. I got my internet, my gigabytes. I got my computer, got my iPad, got my iPhone. We got a Sputnik in space. We got the International Space Station. We, done, we got, we got a, a rover right now on, on Mars, uh, 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 Bezos. And, and other millionaires are preparing now to take a flight. It costs you $55 million if you want to ride this special rocket to take you out of space. Mm. With all our technology that we got, we don't need God no more. Mm. Mm. That's what this generation said. Right. You ain't got to believe me. Try asking some of them to come to church. Mm. All, right. all right. All right. Come on now. They're your children. They're your grandchildren. Right. Yeah, they're your great-grandchildren. Yes. They don't care nothing about church now. Don't care nothing about God now. They don't have no respect for the church. Am I telling the truth? Yes, yeah. It's a generation now. Yeah. Slaves without chains. Mm -hmm. That ask, who is, who is the Lord? Look at verse 11. It says, they cursed their father. Do you see that? Yes, sir. And it also says, does not bless their mama. Mm -hmm. Their mother. Uh -huh. Curse their father. Huh, curse their father. Did not the Bible say honor yeah, thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long yeah. on earth? Is that not in the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Did not say a disobedient child I shorten your days? Yeah. 
And we live now in a generation, we're seeing a generation, slaves without chains, mm -hmm. who have no respect for the male figure in the home, right. or in the community, or in the family. There used to be a time the older generation would teach the next generation mm -hmm. yeah. because they respected yeah. that generation. Yes, sir. But it says now they curse their fathers. Just last week they showed on TV of a young man who shot, killed his father. Mm -hmm. And don't look around like it's strange because we're hearing about it every day now. Amen. Right. Every day. Here in Shreveport at, I call it LSU Hospital. Y'all don't know, remember the young man who, who went to the hospital and went in there with the knife and mm -hmm. cut up his own mama? Mm -hmm. Is that not it? Yeah. Yes. This is the generation. Slaves with invisible, change. with invisible change. Not only he says, not only will we see the day where they will curse their fathers and not bless their mothers. Verse 12, it says, but they'll be pure in their own eyes. Meaning it don't matter what you say or what you think. The only thing counted is what, what, what I, what I think. Mm -hmm. It's my opinion. It, it says, matter of fact, it's somewhere in the Romans says they have a form of godliness. Mm -hmm. But deny the power that be in the book of Judges. It says everybody done as they please in their own in their own eyes. Continue to read verse twelve. It says not washed with his filthiness, filthy. And when it comes to filthiness, it covers several areas. We are seeing a generation now. Watch it now. They are they are, they are, they are filthy in their mannerism. Filthy in their mind, mm -hmm. filthy in their in in, in, in their mouth, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. filthy yeah. in their music. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Can I get amen anyway? All right. Look at how amen. filthy they are. Their mannerism. Look at how nasty they are. Don't care now. Pants hanging all off your tail. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's just filthy. Yes, Won't take a bath. Yes. They got a new style now. They don't even comb their hair no more. Yes. They want their hair to look talented. Am I t telling the truth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filthy. And don't say just our young men, some of our young women. Yeah. They're worse than our young men. Yeah. Yeah. There used to be a time we had debutantes. Y'all remember debutantes? Uh -huh. When they would come out, when, you, when they taught you how to cross your leg at the ankle and, 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 and you work, walk with what they call pores. Yeah. They taught you even how to walk. They, Put the books on your head and, and you had to walk with your posture. Come on, y y ladies, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes. Ladies were elegant and classy. Yeah. Men would take their hats off in your presence. Yeah. Open doors for you. Yeah. But we got our young girls now, they doing more sagging than the, than the young boys. Yeah. I'm waiting on somebody to say filthy. Yeah. And when they open their mouth, yeah. filthy, not just in their mind. And in their mannerism, the way they carry themselves, but their mouths are so filled. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Every word is vulgar mm -hmm. and profanity. Yes, yeah. Every rap song is vulgar. Yeah. They used to show no cussing on TV. Yeah. Now you see cussing yeah. now yeah. on, 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 on regular TV. Yeah. 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 Can I get amen anyway? Yeah. 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 I'm talking about slaves. With invisible change. Their methods, their mouth, their mind, their manners, and their music. Go to verse 13. I'm trying to move quickly. It says they have lofty eyes. The eyes are lofty. Meaning no mercy. Have you ever seen a lot the, the eyes of a lion? Or the eyes of an animal, of a beast? They talk about the light of your eye because your eye is the wonder to your soul. Mm -hmm. yes, but if you look at a predator, the eyes mm -hmm. are, are, are not like the eyes of a homo sapien. Mm -hmm. uh, um, when they show demons on TV, mm -hmm. if you notice they show the people who be in makeup, their eyes are completely black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lost their eyes means soulless. Mm -hmm. The eyes have no soul. This is what I'm talking about. If you killed somebody or saw somebody dead or saw an accident, no doubt in your eyes, 
you would say, Lord, have mercy. All right. That's All so right. sad. Mm -hmm. When we saw what happened to George Floyd, that didn't touch you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you like me, I shed a tear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means you have a soul. Yes, but when you have soulless eyes, mm -hmm. that means you can go to somebody with a with a ooze and and then after you shoot it, you walk up to him again. Pow! Mm -hmm. And you walk out saying, I, 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 got, I got rid of it. Mm -hmm. I got rid of that trick. Mm -hmm. I took her out. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I put him in the dirt. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and go eat like ain't nothing happened. All right. Soul is I. And this is the generation we're seeing now. Mm -hmm. You talking about he shot somebody this weekend. Read why he could shoot somebody this weekend. Because last weekend he shot somebody. Mm -hmm. And weekend before the end he shot somebody. Mm -hmm. It's a regular routine now. They used to would shoot you at night. Now they driving up and down the street shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Just yesterday on 7th Street, yeah. they were driving down the street. Yeah. And from yeah. Juella all the way to Hearn. Pow, 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 pow. Yeah. And three of some people got shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's no big deal. I'm waiting on somebody that says soulless eyes. That means they have no mercy. No mercy. This is what we're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. We're dealing with slaves with invisible change. Not only that, soulless eyes, but let's go a little bit further. It says even their eyelids are lifted up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The eyelids are lifted up. When you try to tell them something, they're rolling their eyes. They mm -hmm. And they're looking at you like you, what they call some kind of way. Yeah. And if you look at them too long, they even ask you, what you looking at? Yeah. I don't know why y'all ain't talking to me. Some of y'all got grandchildren like that. You try to tell them something. That word is whatever. No, man, don't tell me that I'm not. <laughs> You go, go go to the grocery store and look at Becky yeah. with little Todd. Mm -hmm. And little Todd said, I won't. Mm -hmm. And his mama Becky, y'all know who Becky is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Becky said, no, you can't have I want it. And he'll throw a tantrum right in the store. Mm -hmm. and, and Becky would say, get up from there. You embarrassing me. Come on, Todd. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> He better not been the son of Lucille Fuller <laughs> and Thelma yeah. Melissa uh -uh. oh, and yeah. Daisy Wade. <laughs> Y'all ain't talking to me. Oh. They better not been the son of Geraldine Sweezer. <laughs> Why y'all ain't talking to me up in here? Oh. But that's true though. You I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. But 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 I'm trying to show you yes, sir. everything I'm saying to you is right here in the Bible. Yes, 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 sir. yes it is. Yes. They don't they, they roll in their eyes in the school. Yes, they don't respect the teacher. Yes, and the sad thing, when the teacher try to call the parent instead yes, of the parent yes, coming getting on the child, yes, they want to come yes, fight the yes, teacher in yes, principal. Yes, yes, yes. Is anybody going to say anything? Yes. Yes. I'm talking about slaves with invisible change. Go to verse 14. He said, our teeth are like swords. And if you keep reading, it says they're like fangs and knives. The translation of that is they look like a beast. They have the nature of a beast. What's the nature of a beast? The nature of a human, Mother Wade, you function by what they call intellect. Yes. Meaning you're supposed to rationalize mm -hmm. and think things out before you make a choice. Because right. right. you realize there are consequences to the choice that you make. All right. All right. All right. But an animal do not operate by instinct. I mean by, by intellect, they operate by instinct. Yeah. Yeah. It's the instinct of a snake to strike. Yes, sir. It's the instinct of a wolf to kill a lamb. It's the instinct of a lion to kill an antelope. It's the instinct of a dog to kill. It's the instinct. Come on. When they kill something, do you think they stand around saying, Paul the squirrel, I hate to kill you? When you put 
put two pit bulls in and they start fighting and one dog rip, the other one throw it out? Do you think that dog cry and say, Poe, buddy, I didn't mean to kill you? Yeah. He has no mercy. Amen. No mercy. Amen. And this is the spirit that we are saying today. Amen. Slaves with invisible chains. Amen. No mercy. No. Can we go a little bit further? Is this a good lesson today? Can, can I go a little bit further? Look at this here. Verse 15 says they got the nature of a leech. And it says they got the leech has two dollars. And that, and, that, and that word is give, give, give. I want to add to that now. The nature of a leech is give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me. Mm -hmm. And that's their nature. Mm -hmm. They feel like I deserve it. Mm -hmm. You owe it to me. Give it to me. If you don't give it to me, I'll steal it. Mm -hmm. If it means killing you to get it, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. They feel like everybody owes them something. Mm -hmm. Give me. Won't nobody come to church on Sunday, but when we were giving water out here, we had lines yeah. of cars bagged up from here. Yeah. All the way to the school, mm -hmm. out on Lakeshore, mm -hmm. going toward Cotton. Yes, and we had man. lines going yeah. back from here, all the way down there, that park. What's that park yeah, called? Bill yeah, Berry yeah, Park. Yeah, yeah. Sure did. Give me. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me. Give me. Give me. And some of y'all got children and grandchildren like that. <laughs> and nieces and nephews like that. <laughs> give me. Hallelujah. Give me. Yes. Mm. Give me. That's all they think about. I'm going to get. I got to have. Give me. Give me. Give me. And the sad thing of some of them are so ungrateful Amen. that they won't even say thank you. All right. All right. There's a fancy word. I don't know too many fancy words, but there's a word called ingrate. You ever heard of ingrate? Ingrate. And that's what you're dealing with. A lot of young folk. This generation that have invisible chain mm -hmm. on their mind yeah. won't even say say thank you. Amen. The Bible says they are like a, a leech. Mm -hmm. Can I go a little bit further? Mm -hmm. Go down to verse 15. It said they are never satisfied. No. Y'all know any folks like that? No. Mm -hmm. They never satisfied. And then and then and look, look what verse 16 it put the spotlight on what they are feeling. It says, look, translation, they just fill in the grave. Mm -hmm. There would be a generation that would just <laughs> fill graves. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are seeing now. Right. Mm -hmm. Every weekend, mm -hmm. filling graves. Motorcycle police leading funeral procession. Mm -hmm. A horse and carriage leading funeral procession. Mm -hmm. Hearses leading funeral procession. Mm -hmm. Everybody got the same thing on. You, they do the same thing every week. Go get a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Put his face on the t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Put and you got on there in big letters R.I.P. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Gone but not forgotten. Mm -hmm. Did this for my homie. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, and then when they and, and before before they had the funeral at the wake, they outside with balloon balloon release. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's all right. That is so true. Come on. <laughs> Filling the grave. Yes, sir. That's what they're doing. Yeah, they definitely doing that. Filling the grave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One hundred funerals took place in this city, at least this past weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More than 50 of the funerals that took place were young black men yeah. and young black women under the age of 35. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting on somebody to say slaves yeah. with invisible chains. Yeah. Yeah. What makes it so hard then is don't talk about white folk killing us. Right. 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 And don't be saying nothing about no police killing us. The funerals that we had this weekend, it wasn't police killing us. It wasn't white folk killing They ain't got to kill us now. No, 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 no. Yeah. 
A few nights ago, up there in Cherokee Park, where they had uh, the shooting, uh, they were standing around in a crowd, young man laying there dead, and you looked around, eight people standing around, Black Lives Matter t-shirts on. Mm -hmm. Some of them had on Black Lives Matter caps. And the young man that was dead was laying there, and his cap had been shot off his head, but blood was on the cap. But you can read it and say, Black Lives Matter. I'm waiting on somebody to say, if Black Lives Matter, why are we still killing each other? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. And you want to march and burn down cities. And you want to riot and raise Cain. I can't say what I want to say. Mama's in here. <laughs> Talking about what they did to us. When somebody going to get upset about what we doing to each other? Lord gave me a revelation about five years ago when uh, I saw E Valley, the yeah. policeman yeah. was killed. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit told me to remind Queensboro mm -hmm. that Jesus died yeah. for your sin mm -hmm. and he's a God of love and we need to stop killing each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is why we put the tent out here. Yeah. It was to get the attention, to let people know. The reason why we wanted to have the casket out there to let young folk know if you don't change, mm -hmm. this is your, your future. Mm -hmm. Because the book said the wedges of sin mm -hmm. is death. Mm -hmm. If you continue to do what you're doing, mm -hmm. this is where you're going to end up. Mm -hmm. I was called a fool, crazy. Mm -hmm. Preachers laughed at me, crazy and goofy. Now my phone blowing up every day. Mm -hmm. Come march with us. Come say, I ain't coming nowhere. All right. All right. Yes, I'm out, you, matter of fact, you out there on the corner talking about out there praying and marching, and they shooting while y'all out there on the corner That's praying. Right. All right. All right. What's going to change people yes. is not you marching and, 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 and more police. They got to change up here. Yes. All right. You got to change your thinking. You got to change your thinking. If you change your way of thinking, you can change your whole future. But if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting the same results. Can I get an amen in it? You need to change your thinking. I'm waiting on somebody to say, change your thinking. How many black women y'all know wearing weed hats? How many of y'all know where? How much money do you think they spend a week on weed hat? A month on weed hat? When the last time you went to a store that sold weed hat that was owned by a black person? I'm waiting on somebody to say, change your thinking. Look at the fingernails now. Yeah, so. You here living in the projects in the ghetto and got fingernails now, got rhinestones all on them, diamond tip fingernails, and they got $20 in your pocket. Yeah, right. I'm waiting on somebody to change your thinking. You got a $50,000, $60,000 automobile with spinning wheels on it. Parked in front of the projects. Yeah. Right. I ain't got a house to park your car. Right. I'm waiting on somebody to change your thinking. You got money going down there, putting your money in the machine, losing your money every week, going back, losing your money every week, going back, losing your money every week. Oh, yeah. What if you put your money in a 401k? Or right. put your money in the S&P stock yeah. market? Or yeah. put your money, my, 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 my money in, 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 the, in a rock fund? Or a RIA fund? What if you would invest your money? Yes, yes. What if you had some stock? Right. The money you put in that machine, what if you had to put your, your, some money in Microsoft? All right. All right. Come on now. You buying new phones every, every time you get money. You buying new cell phones. Do you have any stock? All right. In AT&T? Yeah. Do you have any stock in iPhone? All right. I'm waiting on somebody to say, change your thinking. Change your thinking. You got to color contacts on the 
eyes that can't read. Diamond right. rings on a finger can't fill out a job application. Right. I'm waiting on somebody to say, change your thinking. Slave! Yes, sir. I got to wrap it up. I know y'all ready to go. I know you're ready to go. Verse 17 says, the eyes mock their father. And when it says father here, uh, it's not talking about your biological father. It's talking about the elderly men of the community. There used to be a time the older generation men would train the younger men. Come on, y'all talk to me. Some of y'all not remember an older woman that took you under her wing and helped you. But it says the generation that would come would be a generation that would not listen to the fathers of the community. They won't listen to their mother. Matter of fact, look at what it says. It says they will scorn. And, 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 and it says scorn the, the, the obedience of their mother. They won't listen. Yeah. Amen. Until you say a hard head. Yeah. Make some else soft. Right. Oh, yeah. right. They won't listen. Yeah. Slaves without change. And, 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 then, and then I'm getting ready to go now. I got to leave you alone. But I'm going to preach this just to show as I'm standing here. All right. All right. What else do the Bible say? Look at Job 21, 15. It says that will be a generation that will come that would not want God, nor will they, will they want God's teaching. They won't want God, nor will they want his teaching. Go to Romans 8, 22. Romans 8, 22 says, because of this, this is why the nation creation is groaning. It says creation is groaning. Look at all what we see going on now. Mm -hmm. Have you seen all the rats that have taken over? Mm -hmm. They have a, a rat infestation mm -hmm. in Australia. Oh. Millions and millions of rats. They, on the news, they show one lady was crying. She said, last night, I was laying in bed, and my baby started crying and screaming, and I woke up, and they, they were eating on my baby. Mm -hmm. They, she said, I go try to get in the car to sleep, but when I opened the door, and they showed her going, opening her door, and rats just running out by the thousand out of her car. Mm -hmm. You heard of the chicana bugs? Mm -hmm. yeah. They're on their way. Mm -hmm. You heard about the grasshoppers eating away everything in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They ain't got no food over there now. Mm -hmm. And out in California now, the Colorado River at the dam, what they call the dam? Y'all know the dam right there, Colorado River, uh, Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam is 36 feet low. Uh, California depend on the Hoover Dam water for, for them to have drinking water. It's 36 feet low. And they're wondering now how can they get some of the water from the ocean to get that salt out of it to make it applicable for drinking. People, hey, right now, you know the jugs of water, what we got? Mm -hmm. You can sell them jugs out there in California now for $10 a jug mm -hmm. because people need water. Mm -hmm. Creation mm -hmm. is growing. You ain't got to believe me. Mm -hmm. When the last time y'all went to the grocery store? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 How much you paying for eggs now? Yes. How much you paying for meat now? Mm -hmm. Why y'all ain't talking? Yeah. Cannot you see things? Something is going on there now. Yeah. And you here talking about living from this stimulus check to stimulus? Mm -hmm. Stimulus check can't help you. Amen. You around here all excited over getting twelve hundred dollars? Mm -hmm. When the folk up there in the suits, they here getting twelve million. Yes. Yes. They're talking about all that 13 billion and 20 something billion, and uh, you think you're going to get any of that? No. <laughs> that ain't for you. Nope. They're trying to pacify you with $1,200. Right. And you ain't, he, 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 who got $1,200. Yeah, <laughs> 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 right. right. You a slave in chain. with an invisible chain. You have to make a turn and a flip over twelve hundred dollars, and they up there getting twelve million. Oh yeah. Is anybody gonna wake up in here? Yes. 
Right. I'm trying to help you today. Amen. Slaves with invisible change. Mm. So how you gonna close it out, preacher? What I tried to show you, all of what we see now is a stronghold. Mm -hmm. And the Bible talks about how the devil yeah. put a stronghold on people. Yes, and our young people, this generation, they call it Generation Z, has a stronghold on it. Mm. A stronghold. Mm -hmm. But you do know Jesus, mm -hmm. the blood, all right. come on, come on, all right. can break that stronghold. All right. Yes, sir. Is it a surprise that it was going to come? No. Jesus said in Luke chapter 23, verse 28, when they were crying for Jesus, he said, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves. And your what? And your what? Weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and your children. Paul put it this way. He said, perilous times will come. You find that in 2 Timothy chapter 3. And he started telling us uh, what would happen during perilous times. He says, men, verse 2, shall be lovers of their mm -hmm. own selves. Right, right. Covetous, meaning you want what other folk got. Mm -hmm. Boasters, meaning you're arrogant. Mm -hmm. Proud, mm -hmm. blasphemers, mm -hmm. disobedient to your parents. Mm -hmm. It says, unthankful, unholy. Go to verse thir uh, 3. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers. Do y'all see that? Right. Fears that me having a fighting spirit. Yes. Have you ever seen people so angry? Yes. 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 I was at the gas station the other day, and one man drove up in front of another. You knew I was going to get that pump. <laughs> well, what you going to do about it when he said that? I said, wait a minute. <laughs> and one of y'all can have this pump. I'm gone. Okay. All right. I was with Russell the other day. We went to uh, Home Depot. I saw Deacon Sweezer and Sister Sweezer. The mm -hmm. folk that he met there, they got into it with the cashier. I looked at Russell and got on the phone. I said, I'll see you later. All right. I called Sherry. I come get me. Because right. <laughs> some jump off or pop yeah. off up here, they're not going to have them on TV. They're going to have me on TV. Right. 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 That's right. Yeah. I ain't getting in nothing. No. I ain't getting in no drama. No, no drama. No. Matter of fact, that's my new nickname. Rick and no drama mo. <laughs> I ain't getting in no drama. All right. Because the Bible said, see to it that you mind your own business. Your own business. All right. And look at this here. I'm closing now. It says they would be true breakers. Fears that mean they have a quick temper, ready to fight at the drop of a hat. Mm -hmm. It says despiser of those that are good. It says traitors, heady, high-minders. It says lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. It says they have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. Mm -hmm. It says from such, it said turn away. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what we are now. The next time somebody asks you what's going on, and look at all this violence in our world, and do you hear about all this killing? Maybe you ain't been able to wrap your head around it. But the Lord gave me that revelation that we see now a generation that are slaves with invisible chains. But the good thing is, the God that we serve is able Amen. To make a change. To break those chains. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want you to listen at this song and watch what I do. You can be a part of that army. Oh, yeah. You ought to want to be a part of the solution mm -hmm. and not a part of the problem. Mm -hmm. All right. He can break every chain yes. on your mind, your manners, yes. your mouth, yes. your method, your money, your music, and your home. He can break all the chains. Oh, yeah. While we're young people, right. our teenagers, yeah. Our young men, our young women, young couples, older people, grandparents, 
I'm believing today <clears throat> that chains will be broken. Mm. Right. Not the chains you see, yeah. Oh, yeah. but the invisible, invisible chains chain. that is around their mind. Yes. Yes. And if you think different, you can walk different. Yes. You can be different. You can act different. Yes. You can carry yourself different. Just because you came from the ghetto, you don't have to have the ghetto on the inside. Of you. Come on, talk to me. Just because you came from the Cooper Road, you ain't got to have the Cooper Road in you. Just because you came from the country, you ain't got to have the country in you. And you ought to want God to do this. Look at what I'm doing. Break that chain. Yeah. Somebody make some noise in here. Those of you who watch this message, I hope that you'll send this message to everybody you know. We're coming up to June the 19th. Every preacher, every deacon, every Sunday school teacher, every young person you know need to watch this message. And I pray whoever you are that the chain, that invisible chain that the devil have on your mind, will be broken. Amen. Thank you all for listening to my presentation. Amen. Somebody let's give God a mighty hand clap. Amen.